Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Driveway Engineer. I am JR. Uh, I got my little friend Coconut there and Peanut. He's less engaged. I don't remember. I think I probably put up a post. Um, a few weeks ago, I won this giant Econoline blast cabinet on a auction for a place that closed down. It came with this also giant dust collector. Um, and I'm kind of trying to refurbish it a little bit. Uh, make it match the rest of my stuff. So I gave it a quick coat of paint um, One of the other things that I'm going to do though that I want to show you guys. This is pretty neat uh, We all know these stupid fluorescent bulbs and by now you should know these LED these are T4s I'll have a link to them in the description uh, My shop lights are T8s and the one out on the gantry that I showed you guys in a short the other day is a T8 so i'm not an electrician this is a little confusing for me the way that these work is there's a ballast in here and i think that this thing kicks 110 up to 220 or something so that it can start fluorescents take a lot of power compared to an led you got to bypass this thing to use an led so you open it up and there's this spaghetti of wires and it's kind of some bullshit. We want to get rid of this thing. And I'm going to try to make it as simple as possible for you guys. Real simple. Um, I got a little befuddled with all the different descriptions and things going on. But basically, you're going to, if your fixture looks like this, you're going to take, because there's power in both ends, you'll take these two wires and you will wire nut them to the black wire. And you will take all these red and blue wires and wire nut them to the white wire and then you will have light. So, fortunately, my father-in-law left all his cool wiring stuff before he skipped off to Florida, snowbirded away for the winter. Um, I'm going to snip those down, strip them out, and show you what it looks like. We'll be right back. All right, so wired up, this is what you're looking at. All the, the one white to all the yellows. Mine has an added plug and switch, so it's a little more complex. Two blues, two reds to one black, and that's kind of a, it's kind of stretched tight. So what I'm actually going to do, oh, and this thing's gone. And it weighs like 12 pounds. Not that it matters for a sandblaster, but uh, anyway, I'm going to flip this up, put like two screws in it, flip it over, and put the bulb in, show you guys what that looks like. But this is, again, what it looks like. One white, two yellows, one black, two reds, two blues. These go in the same as any fluorescent bulb. Oh, I didn't take the cover off. They come with a little cover on them. Take that off. Then drop it in the fixture where you'll leave it for all eternity. Uh, the little prongs go, you know, vertical. And then you drop it in like that and rotate it. Whoop, until it looks like a light bulb. And you're ready to go. I'm going to, to demonstrate. I'm going to set it up on the cabinet. Um and come back around and show you. So I'll be right back. All right, moment of truth. Believe it or not, I wiped that off and it still works that way. And I'm probably not gonna do anything about it because um, the cabinet looks gun metal enough. Um, let's see if we blow our dicks off. Woo, that's nice. Oh, also I painted the inside white. Um, again, to help see. The biggest problem in blasting is being able to see, so I should be able to see everything. And these start instantly, unlike fluorescents. So, there you go. Retrofitting, wiring, changing the world. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope this helps. See you next time. There will be a link to this in the description, by the way, uh, if you want these little lights. So, thanks.